Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you different ways to unseek media that you uploaded to Meta from your MetaQuest VR headset. I'll first show you with the Meta app. Launch the Meta app on your Android or iOS device. Click the three lines at the top right corner and scroll down and click Gallery. From here you need to choose Individual Files and click the Unsync button at the top. Now, based on my knowledge, there isn't a way to do it with multiple files, but keep in mind, as of the time making this video, there might be some changes, so watch out for that. So basically, I'm going a file one by one, choosing the one that I want to unsync, some say desync, click it, and then click again the button to unsync. This is basically the button with the icon of the cloud with the down facing arrow. So that's how I do it. Go different files, click it, unsync. Keep in mind this app was designed so you can actually share content if you like and there's a share button on the right or you can download it to your device because this data is by default in the cloud on Meta servers. Now if you can see your sync file, make sure your headset is charging, your headset is idle and no other apps are running and make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected of course. All right, now using the Quest headset, keep in mind that if the files are not on the headset, you won't be able to choose to unsync them. To do this, we need to go first to uh, the files app. And basically to do that, we need to go to library and application choose files. If you can see it, you can just uh, type search in the search bar and just start typing files uh, until you see the app and then launch it. Now there, you're going to see at the top, uh, right, you're going to see an icon of the cloud. Now it's the sync is off, all right? So if I click it, the sync will turn on. This will automatically sync files that are created and not synced yet into the meta servers and you can view it on your phone. However, files that you've chosen to not sync won't resync again if you turn it on. Because if you choose to unsync a certain file, it will stay unsynced until you decide to sync it again. For each file, you can actually see if it's sync or unsynced. Click the three dots if you want to change that. So you can choose unsynced to a sync file. And this will turn it into unsync as you can see. All right. Uh, you can also do this to an unsync one and turn it into a synced one. All right, so I can choose this one and I click sync to sync it. Now you can see the notification, but basically it says if the file is synced or not synced to the meta app at the top. It's just so black, probably due to privacy or something. Now, based on my experience, it didn't work two ways for me. So I couldn't really see the synced files from the meta app, from the cloud, appearing here in the headset. It didn't matter how much time I actually waited and trust me, it has been months and still it wasn't actually synced into it, right? So I don't know about that specifically, but it seems that it's going to be one way from the headset to the cloud. If you know something else, let us know in the comment section below. This means that uh, for me, because there are some files that are already uploaded and I deleted them in the headset, I needed to do the unsync in the app itself. Again, still stay up to date with latest updates. If it works for you for some reason, you should be able to do it here. But for me, it wasn't the case. All right, so a few tips for you. So first of all, you can delete the files directly in the headset. However, keep in mind that by doing so, you won't be able to go to the file seat and do unsync because it won't actually be on the device anymore. But the easy way if you go to storage management, you'll be able to do so. So if you go to... Um, uh, to the settings, I'm going to go back here and if I choose storage, I'll be able to just delete files and just also uninstall apps and delete videos and other media directly from the headset, right? So we're going to go to storage and you can see uh, the files here and can remove them directly. I can choose videos, for example, and just delete them. You can select or just delete them on the right by tapping the recycle. Uh, bin icon. But again, if you want to do everything from the headset to unsync, just make sure to unsync first and then delete the files. Now, don't confuse it with cloud backup. Cloud backup is basically saving your save files of your games and apps, right? It's not that. So cloud backup, if you turn it off, 
uh, it doesn't really relate it to anything with the sync, right? Just syncing save files, but not the media files. Also, your data is private, but when you see from Meta representative, you can see no one will be able to see your media on the app. And I asked, is the media private? They said, yes, that is correct. Now, if you go to the setting and search for sync, you can actually see an option under system camera that allows you to turn off uh, syncing to your mobile app, right? So you can directly go also to system camera and just turn it off or on. Keep in mind, even if you turn it off, you can still be able to unsync, uh, sorry, to sync and unsync individual files. So if you don't want media to sync anymore, just turn this option off. If you toggle it off, it should be gray, not active. If it's blue, it's active. And that is for this video. Give a like if you find this one useful. If you have any questions and changes or you find something that is not accurate in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Consider subscribing as well. Cheers.